In the connection of the music to health, you actually won a big award from Mount Sinai Hospital. I think Ken Davis is here. Oh, and you wow. do a program uh, with Mount Sinai to try to study the connection of music. Tell us about how that works. Well, if you think about music therapy as a recognized profession, as a legitimate profession, it uh, started in World War II when there were soldiers who were wounded and they found that music actually helped them to heal. And they started to try to make the connections to try to figure out what caused that. Why, why is this working in this way? Um, so fast forward to today at Mount Sinai, the Louis Armstrong Center for Music and Medicine is at the <laughs> forefront of this movement of music therapy and healing. You know, we, we do things with children who have asthma and we give them harmonica boards. Show them what and a harmonica out, is. Oh, for those of you who don't know, I play this instrument as well. What does Wenton call it? A harmonica board. It's a okay. harmonica and a keyboard put together. Some people call it a melody horn, some people call it a melodica, but it sounds like this. So you do that with the kids, right? Yeah. So you do that with the kids and? Yeah, the kids, and, and, and it helps them to understand breathing and rhythm, and also there are things that you can do to learn how to better calibrate mm -hmm. yourself in terms of your pulse, in terms of your breath, and that helps to slow your mind down. So we've worked with children that have ADD as well.